Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Um, I'm back here in Majula. I have all my spells in order, I think, because I'm going to be taking on the Fume Knight once again. Okay, I do have bolt stones. First thing I need to do, need to do is level up my dexterity to 9, which should only take 1 point, and with 9 dex, I can finally use the longsword that I did actually upgrade off screen. The only thing I need to do with it is go ahead and, and infuse it. I think the longsword would be, not would be, will be very helpful because I'm pretty sure it's faster than the axe. Plus, generally, it's a very good weapon. And I think it uses less stamina. So hopefully, with this and everything else, I will finally able to be able to take this guy out. I'm going to go ahead and infuse it with lightning it's probably not gonna get the same scaling as the bandit axe because that weapon has ridiculous scaling with anything you infuse it with but yeah we'll see we'll see what it gains it only has a CC which uh, isn't really worth it for me because I don't have I barely have the stats to wield it so I might as well go ahead and infuse it it's just gonna improve I think let's go with lightning we get a B scaling seriously that is actually very good I would say okay back to broom tower we're getting to the end of this playthrough actually um, the sunlight spear I'm still not sure about I might have to like leave that to like a bonus episode because I am just not getting summoned anywhere I tried in so many places People actually suggested to go back to the Smelter Demon, which I might try, but I feel like my soul memory is a bit too high for that. Okay, we'll go with Rings of Life Protection. And I think we're pretty much good to go. Everything is set up. All my buffs and everything. I have a couple of ranged spells because it's like there's nothing else I can attune. Might as well have something. All right. Let's go with Sunlight Blade. Sacred Oath. I thought about buying a Bright Bug, but they cost 48,000 souls. So I was like, ah, no, thank you. Okay. I think I'm dealing about equal damage. That was really bad. The only thing I'm hoping for is, like I said, less stamina consumption. Which... Will allow me to do better, I think. God, my TV is a bit too loud. Oh well. Are you fucking kidding me? This guy's kicking my ass. Let's heal up. Gotta get back into the swing of things here. But yeah, I think I'm in, I'm dealing about equal damage to him. Okay, that's. Let's not use the rolling attack, because the rolling attack is not very accurate. God damn it. I'm doing really badly. It's been a couple of days since I played Dark Souls 2. I've been playing quite a bit of Demon's Souls actually lately. It's a fun game. I'm making a build with Isterel. Already halfway through. Oh, that was barely dodging that. Want to make the most of this lightning buff here. Luckily, it does actually last for quite a while. Take that stab. Okay, buff wore off. And I'm dealing shit damage. Alright, I'm gonna have to concentrate here sorry if I'm a little bit quiet during this fight again the reason I'm doing like worse damage is because it's split of course but I don't know if that really affects things in this game it did have a big role in Dark Souls 1 I haven't taken damage in a 
while there as I screw that up. Oh, I thought he was going for it. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Don't want to run out of stamina. Even though I staggered him. You really want to be careful of that. And it's really hard to fighting... I'm gonna finish that thought later. As I take a fireball in the face. It's really hard to fight the urge of rolling into this attack, not away from it. You're done. Finally. Thank you, Longsword. Alright, that fight went surprisingly well, considering that I skipped, like I said, a few days of playing this game. All right, got the crown of the old Iron King, and that means we can move into Sir Alon's uh, area. I think I'm going to head back to the bonfire. 98,000 souls. I'll go back to Mijula and definitely use these. Just in case I like die a lot and lose them. Definitely don't, don't want to lose them. The next order of business... I think what I'm going to do is I'll clear out the remaining Nadalia statues in Broom Tower. And then, I ca like I said, maybe I'll leave, uh, depending on how much time I have, I might leave Sir Alon for the next episode. Maybe I will, maybe not. Alright, so definitely going to get my, not necessary, uh, my faith to 60. Which will finally allow me to use Blinding Bolt. Alright. Let's go ahead and level up. 60. And what I also want to do is get more Vigor and Endurance. Always. Like I said, I think I'll stick with the Longsword for a little while now. Because I want to try it out. And what I also want to check is how many soul, Nadalia soul pieces I, do I have? I have 8. So that means I'm missing 1, 2, 3. I think there are 11. So I'm missing like 3. Okay. Let's go ahead and attune. Get back to my normal setup. So we want Sunlight Blade. Oh, have I not traded for Blinding Bolt yet? Alright, I guess we're going to go ahead and do that. Also, great heal. And I think Blinding Bolt might take two slots, so I'll leave two open. Let's get back to straight sell and trade. I'll have to wear the Ring of... what you call it? The Ring of Faith. But it's going to be fine because I don't technically need the Chloranthi Ring. I only equipped it for this fight. Otherwise, I've been doing fine without the Chloranthi Ring so far. But yeah, that was, I think, a successful... Sometimes when you're struggling with a boss, it is actually worth to, like, leave the game for, like, a day or something, even for a few hours. And then you come back and might, you might find yourself being more successful. Just taking a break from everything. Can I get up, please? Thank you. I didn't mean to backstab him, because that's actually gonna... Screw things up. God, I hate these enemies. Alright, I'm gonna need to get some souls. Because I'm pretty sure a blinding bolt costs like 30,000 or something. So I use these two. And we'll see if that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna trade for blinding bolt. It's only 10,000. 65 faith. Kind of ridiculous. But, very good spell. A very good spell indeed. Let's check out the description. A miracle that creates a giant soul mast and transforms it into a lightning spouting orb of light. Crafted in ancient times by the god of sun, but later forbidden by the same deity. 
Was it to protect the world from its hatred or sorrow? I didn't check if it takes one slot or two. It only takes one slot? Holy shit. Alright, that is very good. Guess we'll go with Magic Barrier. And we are going to travel back into Broom Tower. Just to take care of these last few Nadalia statues. I think... I'm pretty sure there is one... Wait a second. I'm really, honestly, not entirely familiar with where all the statues are. But I know that there is one here somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and ring, get the Ring of Prayer. And this is Blinding Bolt. Got a huge buff this spell. It used to be kind of shitty. Very weak. But now, like I said, recently it got a new buff and it's been very powerful. Oh, I know where the statues are. Okay, good. There is one, like, somewhere here. That you have to... Get, I'm pretty sure what you have to do is... Hey, get the... Get the fucking treasure. Pretty sure you might have to... Hit this door? No, you don't. Okay, wait, let's... Go back. Do I have the cursed... Yes, I do. Or the hollow skin. Because... Don't know if I actually warp to the... Are you freaking out there? Yeah, I think I did warp to the right bonfire, didn't I? I'm all over the place today. Okay, let's go. I think I've got this figured out. So we're gonna have to go here. I'm just gonna run past all these enemies. Good. Because... Well, it probably would have been easier to... Go from the other side. It doesn't really matter because I'm just going to sprint here. Wonder if you can make that jump. I'm not going to risk it. But this we can definitely make. Are you kidding me? Did you see that? That was fucking perfect. Nice move. Yeah, I think I'm actually at the wrong bonfire. Because the... Remaining two Nadalia statues are in the curse places, aren't they? There might be like 12 soul fragments now that I think about it. I don't know, I'm gonna have to check, because I honestly don't remember. But there is definitely one there, and there is one where Maldron invades. And there is one by the uh, boss room for Alon. Or like, not the boss room, but the area for Alon, where those... Mad warriors invade. And I think there is one more that I've missed. So I think there are 12 soul fragments. And that will allow me to make a shitty chime that I'm never going to use. But, you know. Gotta get everything that I can. Good thing I picked up the key. Hey there, assholes. These guys actually are weak to lightning, I think. So, yeah. Thought that would kill him. I should buff up, shouldn't I? Let's use a blinding bolt. Don't know how good this spell is in... PvP. Or PvE, I mean. Because it's very good in PvP. But it just fucking missed everything. So, blinding bolt, get your shit together. Okay, let's uh, go for that. Try to parry, that was a bad idea. That's all I wanted. Dead. Okay, so I'll get the statue first, then I can go ahead and collect all these treasures here. What I'm gonna do is I'll buff up my weapon to deal some more damage. Because, yep, there he is. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure there are two enemies here that I don't want to mess with. Hey, that... Ugh, fuck, that range. Good. Thank fuck I got this lightning buff on there. I think it just saved my ass. And the statue is right there at the end of this hallway, I think. There you are. 
Let's quickly smell to reg it. And we're good. What are you gonna do now your buff is gone? Not much you can do. Except die. Get the soul definitely. And I think... Oh, it's a large shard. Seriously? Just a large shard. But I also know that Fire Snake is here. Which is a very good spell. Good, let's pick up Fire Snake and get the hell out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and rest at the bonfire to recover my Estus. And we'll go visit our friend Maldron the Assassin, I think. It should be very interesting. I've already done, I think, pretty well. God, this thing is lasting for a long time. I wonder what, like, affects that. Because I think normally buffs don't last... I definitely don't remember, like, Crystal Magic Weapon lasting this long. But who knows. I might be wrong. Been a while since... I don't normally use Crystal Magic Weapon on my... Even on my mage characters. Just prefer the ranged sorceries. Alright, Maldron. Let's go. Well, he's just gonna run away. This asshole. You know what? I wonder if I can... Apparently not. RNG, please work. Oops. I meant to switch to my shield. And block. That didn't work out. He has so much poise. Which is funny because if you... And tracking as well. Which is funny because I should have used Great Heal. Uh, I do actually have a character where I do have a Maldron cosplay going. And this build is definitely not as powerful when you use it. So he just retreated like a big pussy he is. Wish I had a tree of, seed of a tree of giants, but I don't. Unfortunately, I don't. Anyways, the curse is the most dangerous thing here. So, once you're immune to that... The other things don't really matter. Alright, Maldron, come on, you bastard. Do need to lure him out a little bit. Trying to backstab me, assholes? Not gonna work. So the curse is gone. I'll lure... Oh, shit. Heal up, quickly. I want to get the soul fragment. Even though you... That tracking... Even though you cannot actually lose the soul fragments, so they linger. Even once you... Even if you die. <laughs> Holy shit. God damn, he's strong. Kind of just winging it here. Doing all I can to survive. Let's throw a blinding bolt out there and hope it actually does something. It actually did do something. As you can see, once it hits, it does a fuck ton of damage. But I mean like seriously a lot of damage. Oh yeah, he has cursing urns as well. Or corrosive urns as well. The asshole. Thank you for poise, even though... How do, how do I have... No! Fuck. I fell off like an idiot. Well, it doesn't matter because the Nadalia statue stays. Or, and I mean, the Nadalia statue is gone. And I have the soul. And I really am all over the place today. I just got back from... Literally, like, an hour ago, I got back from my exam. My last exam, actually. So, yeah. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm recording Dark Souls 2. Maybe it was a bad idea, but actually I've been doing pretty well in terms of the gameplay. Talking has been kind of not there. Have I already broken both my rings? Yes, I have. Well, 
whatever. Luckily, I don't need the fucking holo skin anymore. Go back to this. I just rest again to get my spell s spell castings back. And yeah, let's try this again. Should be a lot easier because I can just deal with the enemies as I'm going down. And then just take care of Maldron. But I think getting this longsword was a pretty good decision. Honestly, this has been very good. Oh, he's gonna invade again. Magic barrier won't help me. I'm not gonna sunlight blade yet. Yeah, this is one thing about the NPCs. Sometimes they do not obey the rules of the game like they're supposed to. So they can do things that you're not able to do. I wonder if I can... No, that doesn't have enough tracking. God, is fast. How much stamina does this asshole have? I'm gonna heal up. Are the soldiers gone? That is weird. Ouch, I took that like, like an idiot. Oh, don't fall off again. Don't want to die to this guy out of all the enemies. Huh, they have a wake up attack? These guys have really unusual attack patterns, so yeah. It's like, if I don't know them by heart, it's kind of difficult to get a sense for what they can do. Yeah, it looks like, oh no, they're not gone. They're not gone. Can you actually, thank you, lock onto the right enemy? Huh, there's an Elan Greatbow here. Interesting. Thank you for letting me get the backstab. Alright, Maldron. Eat a Great Lightning Spear. Or two. And also eat a couple of Blinding Bolts. I'm going full Lycia on his ass here. Oh yeah? Take that. I'm afraid of that guy going to backstab me. Not backstab me, but shoot me with a great bow. Alright, come on, you fuck. God, he's so... Ugh, fuck this guy. Seri... Seriously. I hate it when the NPCs do not, like, obey the rules that you have to obey. That tracking on him is ridiculous. Anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Like I said, I think I've already done pretty well for today. We'll get him next time. We will get him next time. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 2. And I'll see all of you next time.